Okay, I'm going to be talking about situational betting and how to profit off of situational betting, okay? You have to understand that betting on situations is very important, okay? Not just going with defenses or going with who has the best guard play, quarterback, etc., okay? You have to understand why a team needs to win or what they're trying to accomplish, okay? And this is a situational betting strategy that I use. And this is for the people that want to bet consistently, okay? I'm talking week to week, day to day, and go through the grind of a season and not just use the public percentages and the handle and the money and uh, going against what Vegas you know, is trying to accomplish, okay? And this is for the games that, assuming the game isn't being controlled, okay? I'd say more than half of these games are controlled, especially the ones that are nationally televised, the ones that have uh, bring attention to people, have good records, okay? And you know, you know the teams that are being controlled and the ones that mean a lot to uh, everybody, okay? So... A game like Southern Mississippi, North Texas, this game itself is not going to get a lot of notoriety, okay? So it's just really common sense in knowing, you know, how, if these games are going to be controlled or not, okay? So assuming the game isn't being controlled, okay, that's the number one thing. Second thing is the team that you're betting on has to have a 500 record. I prefer to be a better, a better record above 500, but... 500 record that's good enough okay when you're attempting to use this strategy okay so now the main thing about this strategy okay is using the home court or home field if you want to call it to your advantage okay teams hate to lose at home all right they hate it okay when a team gets embarrassed or loses at home Normally, they follow it up with a victory, okay, or they play really hard in their next game, okay? So that's the number one tip right there uh, if a team loses at home, okay? They have to be at home, and they have to have lost, all right? So Southern Mississippi lost at home to North Texas here, okay? Seven and a half point favorites, so sizable favorite because they're getting the the home field with three points plus another four. So you know that Southern Mississippi was a sizable favorite here. And they should have won against North Texas. They got embarrassed 43-28. It doesn't matter if they get blown out in the game. They just have to lose the game, okay, as a sizable favorite, all right, or just get embarrassed in general um, at home. But they got to be the favorite, okay. They got to know that they should have won against this team that, that was playing them on the road, okay? Uh, now, they go into the following game, okay? This is where you would bet on Southern Mississippi here, okay? They go into the following game and play at Texas San Antonio. It doesn't matter if they're at home or on the road, okay? The main thing is they have to be the underdog or a short favorite, okay? They could have lost against North Texas at home, played another home game, and it would have been the same strategy, but they have to be either the underdog or a short favorite. Okay, I'm talking minus 140 on the money line or less, but I prefer to be an underdog here. Now, they go into Texas San Antonio as a 10.5 point underdog. Very good sign. Texas San Antonio was on a three-game winning streak, I believe. That's another thing. The, the team that they're facing has to have either be on a win streak or come off of a win, okay? So that's another thing to note. Strategy will work great in those situations. Now, sometimes a win outright. In this case, they won here 31-29. So you could have taken the money line here and then bet the spread a little larger. That's a really good payout there. Plus 10 and a half, they win outright. You take them on the money line. It's a really good payout, okay? This strategy will work. I use this strategy a lot, okay? I'm going to show you another example here. Same exact strategy. Okay, this is 
122817 Temple Owls facing Tulane. This is college basketball. This first one was college football. All right. Now, this game just happened last week. All right. Last, yeah, last week this game happened. Uh, here we go. Temple Owls facing Tulane at home. They're 10 point favorites here. Okay. Sizable favorites at home. They lose 75 85. They get embarrassed by Tulane. All right. A game they should have won. All right, they go on the road, play Houston now, eight-point underdogs. They lose 73-76. Okay, they covered the eight. They didn't win the game, but they they almost they came pretty close to winning this game, but they do cover the spread here. The main thing we're talking about here is the spread. The money line is just a, an extra thing that you can throw some money on, you know. And these teams will win sometimes outright. You could throw them in parlays, do whatever you want with it. But uh, the main bet here is the spread. So that's uh, 2-0 right there. Okay, And I can go on and on and on finding examples. And uh, you know this strategy will work 70% of the time. Okay, But the main thing is they have to lose at home. All right as a sizable favorite or as a favorite in general they have to know that they're the favorites okay and the following game they have to be an either an underdog or a short favorite all right 140 or less you know but i prefer to be an underdog this strategy like i said will work 70 percent of the time i use this a lot for day to day the grind of a season okay if i'm not following the big handle games because we're not going to get those all the time those big handle games where you can just go against the money where you know the game's going to be controlled okay this strategy will work now uh, remember the team has to be 500 okay 500 or better and assuming the game isn't being controlled now my next video I'm going to talk about how to bet on a team when it's starting to trend how do you how do you know when to bet on a team that's starting to trend in the upwards direction, okay? So um, I hope this one helped. I hope this was a good informational video for you to uh, make some more profits on these games. So I'll be back with some more videos. So comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you then.